live <laughs> from a tiny room where both of us are hoarse. Everything, everything <laughs> forever. R.I.P. Taylor Hawkins of the Foo Fighters. Well, don't yell after you just said you couldn't yell at the dog. Well, doesn't I'm, make you look good. I'm yelling. Uh, it doesn't I'm, make you look good. I, Listen, just, I understand you're dedicated to the arts, but you got to think to, about your public image here with your girlfriend. I had to save my voice to sing Foo Fighters. <laughs> I'm talking, the new singer. Let's not talk about yeah. The singer Dave, died. Their drummer died. Dave Grohl's going back to drums. Yeah, so they need a singer. <laughs> that, is, that would be nice. It's like Dave Grohl's probably very upset. But at he's the same like, time, he's like, "Well, we don't need a replacement." Really. He's like, "We've got honestly, we could find a drummer or a singer guitarist." <laughs> I'm flex. You know, honestly, if one of us had to die, yeah, kind of the best. One. Yeah, let's not make light of that. That'd be cool. People are very sad. I always forget that people really like the Foo Fighters. Oh, I... And then, like, something, like, Dave Grohl will do something, or, like, this happens, and people are like, oh, my God. Or, like, when Dave Grohl put out that show, everybody was like, I love this. I was like, are you guys... (laughs) Dave Grohl had a show? Some weird show where he was like... People love Dave Grohl. People like him. No, it is weird, because it's like, you'll be like... No one listens to the Foo Fighters, and then you see a photo of a Foo Fighters concert, and, and you're like, eight million people. You're there. Like that's everybody. <laughs> that's every single <laughs> everybody. soul. My mom's there. Why wasn't I invited? I am waiting for my mom to be like, "Oh my god, did you hear?" And I'll be like, "What?" Kurt Cobain died. Kurt, Kurt, someone from Nirvana's dead. <laughs> someone from Mud Honey. <laughs> Have you heard? <laughs> we should get your mom. The guy the from the Melvins had a stroke. <laughs> Buzz Osborne accidentally walked under his ceiling fan. He <laughs> said he lost his dew. He looks like he looks like Krusty the Clown. <laughs> what a fun fellow! I've been getting real into the Melvins lately. Have you? I did discover that I liked them. I was reading about them the other day. I read, Wait, the, talk I read their Wikipedia the other day. <laughs> what are your thoughts? I like that they named it after their uh, douchebag co-worker. I yeah. that on Wikipedia. Yeah. And that's about all I remember. <laughs> <laughs> and I watched a video where they had two drummers. Whoa. And then when I was reading the Wikipedia page, I realized that they were... Cause it looked you found weird. out that they just had a it fan. It was just a mirror. Was, it, was, <laughs> it was just a mirror. They had a mirror next to a guy. No, but it was a right-handed drummer and a left-handed drummer. And they were like kind of like sharing the kit to oh. some extent. It was like this weird giant thing. That's pretty cool. It was pretty if cool. If you get along with the other drummer. Yeah, they didn't like each other. Oh, they started no. fighting. Oh, no. They were crossing sticks. Oh, no. <laughs> When the bowl... It would be cool if they only had like one, if they only had three drumsticks and they kept throwing the other one back. That would be cool. Now that the middle one dope. is both. They both have a hand on the middle one. <laughs> They're holding hands. Yeah, <laughs> it's very hard to play. I would like that. That would be a cool band to see. The Melvins. Judas Priest used to do a thing where they would they line up and they'd each play half of the other guy's guitar. Yeah. Uh. Like so, like one guy would be playing the next guy's, and then vice, and then the last guy's going around, yeah. and you're like, when you're like fourteen, you're like, that's cool, and then when you're like fifteen, you're like, I'm gonna try to do that with my friend, and then when you're like sixteen, you're like, we were pretty gay. That was gay. <laughs> that was very that was weird. Just you and me in a basement hugging. <laughs> You're playing, you're fingering the guitar while I'm playing the bass, yeah. and you're vice yeah. versa. And my cock is in your neck, yeah, crack it's... of your ass. Your mom just comes down, we're going, we're breaking the law. <laughs> do, breaking do, the do, law, do, breaking do, the do. law. <laughs> is that them? I don't know. Is that was the okay. song we would play. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were breaking the law. I can law. do it right now, Eric. We could the laws instruments. of music, you're breaking yeah. them. No, Why are you a little cool. horse? You've been doing too many shows, man. I've been, I, I think you I just got... overextend yourself? I've got normal uh, <coughs> springtime. Yeah, me too. I'm not. And feeling. then, uh, and then mixed with shows. Yeah. It's the it's the it's the weather fluctuation. Let's talk about the weather. It's Louisville, man. Let's talk about the weather. It's... This is a fascinating. The Ohio podcast. River Valley's pollen count. No, I, my throat was a little sore, and I was kind of worried about it. And You're spending I... too much time on it. I was spending too much time on my throat. Yeah, you, I've heard, give oral sex to men, like, throat, like, balancing on your throat. 
<laughs> so they're hard laying on a bed. And you, you and I descend. I'm sort of like doing a handstand, yeah. but no hands. No hands. I just I'm all mouth and throat. All mouth and throat. Yeah, I tie my legs up to it. And ceiling. the problem is, is you've been doing that too much. Not yeah. You could do it once or twice a week. <laughs> yeah. But not every day, man. Come on. My throat's sore, boss. No, I was kind of worried about it, and then... Uh, you could do a pun with the name of the place you work, and that bit. I could. <laughs> but we can't say the name like, of the place you work. No. <laughs> but if you live in Louisville, and you're like, hey, a restaurant would make... <laughs> would make... complete that joke. <laughs> yeah, and congrats. You've done it. <laughs> so you probably, that place probably gets a lot of young, hip people. How often no. are you just yelling out the name Lavender? I never have. I had to yell out the name Lana like eight times the other day. And I was like, oh my god. And then some like 20. That was just because you were at a concert. Yeah, I was just having a good time. Lana! I was having Woo! a good time at fucking Forecastle. <laughs> Play video games. Play the one when it's sad or whatever. <laughs> Play the, to the sad one. Play the sad one that sluts like. <laughs> Play the sad slutty song. <laughs> It was Ebert and Roper. And then what about Siskel? Siskel's fine because he's got that big book. Oh. The Bible. And the books he sells. He's got a big old book. <laughs> he's got the Bible that brings him comfort in his lonely times. And he also has the big encyclopedia of movies. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got it's his fucking... AA book. He's got the big book. <laughs> it's, fucking, uh, it's Harper Lee. And someone's like, oh, she's fine. She's set for life. She's got that, that big book. They're like, oh, yeah, I guess to kill a mockingbird. It's like, no, she's got the Bible. She's Christian. Kind of, kind of gives her all she needs. <laughs> really all she needs. She just, that's all she reads. It's all she needs, and it's all she reads. <laughs> yeah. You don't need money with God on your side. Yeah. Which makes you wonder why the uh, Catholic Church has all that gold. <laughs> oh, oh wait, this... money. Gold's not money. Gold's not money. Russia's got a lot of gold. Do yeah. they? They can't sell it. Oh, is that a thing? Yeah. That's global politics, man. <laughs> Is cool. What else is going on? <laughs> is Trinidad have too much fucking too like many too shoes? Much reggaeton. <laughs> yeah, like what else? What other import export <laughs> fun is happening out there? <laughs> Egypt can't get rid of their sand. <laughs> Trying to sell the pyramids. Wait till they can't. So Russia's just like we got all this gold, but nobody really wants to buy it. And also, you can't just like the market for gold. By the billions? Yeah, that's what, and, uh, yeah. It's not very Because in my mind, I'm like, why don't they just have an infomercial for old people <laughs> and sell it for like 15 bucks a, a brick? Yeah, like I'm sure they could call up somebody and be like, hey man, do you want some gold? And they'd be like, yeah, sure. Yeah. And they're like, all right, how much? Like one billion, two? And they're like, okay, well, never mind. Every rapper is now supporting Russia. <laughs> Every 80s rapper is now <laughs> Everyone's still doing the Run DMC gold chain. Yeah, big gold chain. <laughs> it's just Putin and Big Daddy Kane. I think I'm gonna, you think I should start rocking like a big gold chain. That would be cool. What should it, a you got to get links. Should it be a mic? <laughs> so I look like a rapper. You and know, then people are like, "Oh man, what are you? Are you Jack Harlow?" And I'm like, "No. Have you ever heard a funny dinner? <laughs> funny dinner." And they're like, "So is my table ready yet?" <laughs> Like your uh, your big gold mic necklace dipped into my soup. <laughs> oh, it's clean. It's clean. It's fresh. <laughs> it's fresh and clean, baby. You think people are so ever, fresh? You think people ever went into like uh, like go get a big gold chain necklace and yeah. they're like, oh, I need the big gold links, and then the <laughs> the weird Middle Eastern man is like, we only have gold patties. <laughs> It's it's a necklace with gold sausage patties. I would wear that. I would wear. I, I would prefer wear a big, the links. I would wear a big gold chain that was just a plate that had like a big breakfast on it, that'd like two cool. runny eggs. Oh, that'd be cool. A piece of toast. You got some a big, bacon. Big gold chain that is a plate, and then you have a fork and a spoon. Yeah, in your hands. Yeah, so like so it's like three three yeah. things coming off the it's main chain. Like uh, no, you just carry around a gold fork and a gold spoon and I, just scratch at your. How chain. about uh? How about you get <laughs> uh, wristband? Not wristband. Yeah, wristband. Bracelet. You get a live strong thing. You get cool bracelet chains yeah. that have dangling yeah. fork and silver. Like a charm bracelet, yeah. kind of, but bigger. And then your whole thing is like, we gonna eat. We gonna eat.
And it's like about money, but it's, you know what I mean? You know we gotta eat. Get that scrambled eggs. <laughs> He's doing the bee with the fork. <laughs> Whisking. <laughs> gotta add sour cream. <laughs> it's a secret. That's that how you cool. get real fluffy eggs. Got to add that sour cream. And people are like, is this slang or that? That's actually good advice. I do that. No salt and pepper in the pan. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. They should team up. Like, Remember, don't look up. Yeah. They're like, how are we going to tell people about global warming? Kid Cudi. Yeah, why not just have... Ariana Grande. Yeah. Leo. Yeah. J-Law. Yeah. Instead of that, just have every rapper be like, it's getting too hot. Timothy Fiddledinks. What's his name? <laughs> Timothy Fiddledinks. You nailed it. I think his name is Twist McFun. <laughs> I think his name is Fancy Boy. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet in Fancy Boy. Fancy Boy. <laughs> Oh, he's cool because he's a Christian. Yeah. He's, in that movie. He's <laughs> Just in that movie. In that movie. <laughs> I would love for Christians to be like, this guy's great. Let's see what other movies he's done. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yikes. <laughs> Army Hammer? I like, I support our troops. I love... <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got a guy from the Army and that Christian from Don't Look Up. He's a carpenter from the Army. <laughs> he's it's going to be great. <laughs> the guy who just thinks all names are still like it's the fucking second century. Yeah. <laughs> Brad Pitt. Who do I got to dig through a beach to watch this film? <laughs> Why didn't they have Brad Pitt being James and the Giant Peach? That's true. <laughs> That's a fun he cameo. could have been the pit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, that'd be a fun cameo. You know, that peach didn't have a pit. It didn't, and that always upset me. <laughs> I, to this day, I'm, I'm grinning my teeth. I can't believe you brought that up and ruined my day. No, I didn't appreciate, pe- I didn't have good peaches when I watched that movie. Yeah. So as a kid, I was just like, oh, I was just like a big, it might as well have been James and the zucchini. <laughs> but now as an adult, I'm like, that sounds awesome. A giant. <laughs> big moist peach. <laughs> you got a little vodka, you just lick the wall. I figured out why that I'm mango, out I figured out why that mango I ate as a child tasted like gasoline. Oh. Probably wasn't ripe. Oh, yeah. I don't think a sixth grader knew how to judge a mango's ripeness. So you ate one mango in sixth grade and then we're like, nope. It tasted like gasoline. Okay. It's still kind of weird. <laughs> no, I've had mangoes since then. This banana tastes like my uncle's penis. <laughs> I'm out. But since then, I've tried them. And also, I've learned that you're supposed to bite. And... <laughs> Maybe that's maybe if you lick a banana, it tastes like yeah, my uncle's to peel, bite, <laughs> and chew. Yeah. Swallow. I knew that part. Oh, man. I knew that part Oh, already. boy. You think anyone's ever been like, I'm going to have sex with a monkey. This is going to be awesome. Yeah. I'm a degenerate in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> and then they pull out their penis. Next thing you know, foreskin ripped. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be good. I guess no. The way banana, the way monkeys open bananas, they squeeze them. Yeah, so that would be good. Actually. So your, your penis would pop out of <laughs> the sheath. What? <laughs> like, oh, that's like a loose <laughs> skin. Uh, man, we should ask uh, somebody who's fucked a someone monkey. who's fucked a monkey if they would try and open their dick like a banana. Yeah. No, monkeys just love women's nipples. They do. <laughs> you ever do that? You ever make, like, hook up with someone for the first time? And then you're just like, so do you want to have kids? <laughs> <laughs> so you ever think about having kids? You're a lady, but you're, it's the classic you're making out in the doorway, putting yeah. the key in. Yeah. And then as soon as you get it, you're on the bed, you're just taking your shirt off. So do you want to have kids? So you, how do you feel about kids? <laughs> Are you like try like I'm? We don't have to decide this now, but like <laughs> we, should, we should talk about this at some point. By the way, my roommate's a chaplain. Mm-hmm. He's gonna marry us real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe in sex before marriage. That would be pretty cool. We're not gonna sign the papers, but in the eyes of God, it will be real. Some like uh, young performance artists should do that. Is be like, I've been I I only I've been <laughs> I only have marital sex. And I'm loose. <laughs> and I'm loose. 
I've been married 52 times. <laughs> I just have a best... I've got a wingman who's, a, who's an ordained minister. Yeah. <laughs> then I got I another say... wingman who's a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> I have stacks of annulment papers yeah. in my nightstand next to my condoms. <laughs> Some vice article. <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's a wedding cake. And it's the topper, but it's just the lady. And she's yeah. got, like, she's doing the, like, what's up? Like, ah. <laughs> yeah. She's doing the, the V around your mouth and sticking <laughs> your tongue through. Ah. And then it says the vow. And the V is the... <laughs> and it's a Hulu miniseries what about if it's this called, lady. Like, the valve. Valva, like vulva, but with vow in it. It's funny how much V they like. They're like everything to do with vagina. Use the V, v letter. Vliterous. Vliterous. <laughs> Vap beer. <A> vulva. <laughs> we got a double. Uh, I got an exclusive announcement for the podcast. What? Um, I'm uh, I'm putting in my two weeks at my job. Whoa. And uh, so in two weeks, I won't be showing up. <laughs> and when they call me and they're like, where are you? I'll be like, I knew you were lying about checking out my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there you go, buddy. It's exclusive to this podcast. I will it's not be exclusive. telling anyone at work. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is hot content. <laughs> Eric, you're not uh, here, and you're not a patron. And <laughs> I didn't notice my Patreon subscribers go up, yeah. and I don't like it. They're great. They call me up, and it's like, listen, I don't like being lied to. And they're like, listen, Eric, we're going to get you more shifts. And I'm like, it's not about that. You <laughs> said you listened to the pod. <laughs> I was testing you. you I expected it. a call the day after release of that episode <laughs> offering me a raise. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> people do that like like musicians and like actors and like wrestlers and shit will do that to like they'll like in public they'll be like i'm gonna leave the show yeah and then they like oh we gotta give them more money yeah but it'd be funny if you just did that as like a normal business person <laughs> like you just have a linkedin page where you're like fuck you mana i'm out of here in six months six months <laughs> just vague posting <laughs> That'd be dope. You work at Humana, and then you just, like, you you write on the wall of Aflac, and you're just like, what's up? What's up? And then Humana's like, oh. Uh. <laughs> Y'all hired? He liked the LinkedIn post of, <laughs> Y'all hired of GE. <laughs> <laughs> you get pulled into your boss's office. We've seen you've been liking some other restaurants' Facebook posts. What's up with that? <laughs> what the fuck? Are you, uh, you been eating anywhere else? <laughs> Let me check your belly. Throw up. If I see a pepperoni. Belly check. If I see a pepperoni in there, you're fired. Yeah. When I was a kid, I remember they had, SNL had, I think Callista Comedy? Flockhart. Yeah. Not like now, huh? You no, know, I had either Callista Flockhart, Bradley McBeal, or Laura Flynn Boyle, one of the two of them, yeah. who were both, uh, I think you just listed three people, but okay. No, Larry Flynn Boyle's one name. Oh, I thought Boyle was like Boyle. A... Boyle's one person. Boyle. Susan Boyle. I thought Boyle. It was either Calista Flockhart, the girl from Twin Peaks, or Boyle. Susan Boyle, the Boyle. British singer. Well, I thought Boyle might be like Flea. Yeah, you know, okay. like one name. His Boyle. <laughs> he played bass for Coal Chamber. <laughs> you know, yeah, they there was like they're as was making fun of how they were uh seemingly anorexic and then uh they were like i remember it was in the monologue they were like i'm not i ate a bunch of food today and then they lifted their shirt and they had prosthetics where you could see like a thing of grapes and like a piece of pizza like inside a belly yeah but i remember as a kid being like that's not how eating works <laughs> did she swallow it whole and it took me out of the bit <laughs> a, yeah, you gotta get back. To and in hindsight, it's like, one. man, it's a shame I couldn't appreciate that being mean to anorexic <laughs> women people book. joke. <laughs> yeah, that's a real bummer. Well, in hindsight, they should have had a ground up grapes. Yeah, it should have been a bunch of mush. <laughs> it should have just been mush. Yeah.
They should have had her throw up, and then like a whole pizza slice comes out, like get you know, like where they put like the tube, and she turns to the side, yeah, so you can't see it, and then just a big slice of big whole a whole, a whole pizza, pe- a whole Domino's franchise, a whole Domino's <laughs> store, yeah, with employees, and manager comes out covered in puke. Oh my god, <laughs> are you boil? <laughs> It is wild to think of SNL monologues. You'd be like that, and then they'd be like, "We have night. We have eighteen-year-old Britney Spears on, and everyone yeah. makes a fuss over her boobs. Yeah. So let's put like a motor in her boobs that makes it move around. <laughs> what do you think they're gonna do with Lizzo? Is it Lizzo? <laughs> it's Lizzo. Lizzo's whole set will be performed from a, from inside a sunken trampoline. <laughs> She's on a trampoline, oh. but standing on the floor. I've got my hand, my I slipped and fell into your enormous vagina. You, you know they do. You almost said it. I did. I stopped <laughs> myself. You know I'm they not do. Say the p word anymore. There's the classic uh, porn trope, which I've only seen once, but I always hear people reference it of the so and so being stuck. Yeah. They're like I'm stuck in the sink, <laughs> or whatever. I'll get you unstuck. I'll get you unstuck. And then they just jerk him off. And yeah, he's like, this just, would be more fun if I could move. They just have sex about one person's <laughs> arm is in a garbage disposal. Listen, we're get, we're kind of roughhousing here. Please do not hit that switch. I was to say, has anyone ever, <laughs> ever been a tragedy on the on the Reality Kings? Ah! <laughs> Some s- <laughs> porn star has a stub now. <laughs> an arm <laughs> no man but they're why don't they ever do it where the setup is they do do it like, they yeah, do I, it in almost I every only video. see the start <laughs> my line wire doesn't load that fast um, why don't they ever do it where someone is stuck in someone they're having sex with I can't get it out <laughs> and then a third person has to come and have sex with them you gotta get your p- pussy around Help. my dick. I'm stuck in my boyfriend. <laughs> He's gonna fist in his boy- yeah. boyfriend. I'll fuck it out of you. It's like, why are you fucking me? <laughs> Boy- <laughs> the boyfriend's just reading a book <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> I hate that angle when they when you, uh, when it's just the guy's balls when you're just trying to see uh, oh that's the a hot girls, take. when you're just seeing when you're just trying to see the girl's fist go in his ass yeah I hate that. <laughs> no there was a twist my thoughts spoke to come on it. man give it's me a chance to... here I thought you were legitimately just <laughs> gonna be like yeah and then the balls <laughs> I don't want to see the balls <laughs> uh... that would be funny if in regular movies they did that like remember when everyone hated the lens flip? Yeah. Like JJ Abrams is overusing the lens flare. Yeah. At least Star Trek didn't have shots through a guy's <laughs> ball. <a> <laughs> I don't want to see Chris Pine's I'm tired of seeing Chris Pine's balls. <laughs> just so I can look at Zachary Quinto. Every shot is through his balls. <laughs> this is gonna be the, the Klingons first are coming. All balls movie. No, that'll that is bound to happen. Comedy now, they they love showing penises. They do. I've seen so many. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I've been watching movies lately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good like you can go to Miss you can go to Mrs. Skin, and then that's just how you know you can find some good comedies. Good. <laughs> you see what comedy. movies have hilarious. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Yeah, who could forget that scene in a Walk Hard? <laughs> No, you gotta get the cayenne. Cayenne would be a good name for a horse. Cayenne. Cayenne. That's my daughter, Cayenne. She's a She's 17. <laughs> She's never seen another person. And by God, you sexy farmhand, stay away from her. <laughs> you stay close to me, sexy farmhand. <laughs> stay handsome big city boy. Come to the farm. You hang. With I'm me. me. <laughs> You, yeah, you think, sleep with me tonight. You think that's what all those classic farmer's daughter jokes were about? Just was a gay the unspoken dad. thing was the farmer was just like, God damn it. <laughs> Cock blocked again. Fuck. Cock blocked again by my own kin. Yeah. You ever been cock blocked? Uh I, well, in my mind I'm I'm never I'm never not blocked. So then, Do you have a UTI too? No, it's more, it's more so just occasionally in my single days I'd be like, wait, what? <laughs> huh? It was more so 
<laughs> but in hindsight, it's like, oh, I'm sure. But in my mind, I was just like, oh, no, that must be their boyfriend who they just met. <laughs> <laughs> they just shook hands yeah. with when they walked up. <laughs> uh, well, you ever have a fella come up and he goes, hey, th- get out of here, pal. Uh, no. You ever have to tussle I've been, over a lady? I've been like, I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> You, you ever have to t- oh never mind you ever do the classic the ladies at the bar and then you and another guy are each on alternating sides yeah going hey pal she's not interested <laughs> you, ever do, you ever have that set up no i have not I and have you two not. take it outside of the pool queue uh... you want to go outside and the guy's like sure and you're like i was talking to her <laughs> I was going to try to use all his animosity as a... As an aphrodisiac. As a quick getaway. You're better than a plate of oysters. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I want some oysters. Well, that's a good plan. You got any oysters here? I wish. No, you go... Rockefeller? You go, I'll meet you outside, buddy. And then he goes, good. And then he starts walking outside, and then you just turn to the girl and go, great, we're alone. Well, now that he's gone. <laughs> now that he's out there. You want to go fuck in the bathroom? <laughs> now that he's out there punching a metal trash can <laughs> and waiting for me to come out <laughs> so he can kill me. <laughs> Do Why want... don't we make him more angry? Well, do you want to go out the back door? Why don't we make him more angry and me more tired? <laughs> we'll make out. Fuck. <laughs> we'll make love. I'm sorry. We'll make love on this pool table. Make love. Make love. <laughs> they say make love, not war. But who's making war? Russia, baby. Congress. <laughs> <laughs> Who is to blame for the Ukraine? Uh, I don't know borders, man. We got to live in a borderless society. We're all gonna live. Es- we're all gonna learn Esperanto. That's what Amazon's trying to do. We're gonna all. Amazon's spend, trying to create a borderless uh, society. We're all gonna live the Chinese yen. Use the Chinese yen. I can't yeah. talk very well today. Amazon really should come out and be like, "You guys want a borderless society? <laughs> well, we fucking did it. We also took out Barnes and Noble too." <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> You want a borderless society? Well, you <laughs> so got Jeff Bezos you get... doing that, and then a jerk off motion, <laughs> and it's a Super Bowl ad. <laughs> Let's, if you're listening to Funny Dinner in Russia, turn it off. You're not allowed. Yeah, you can keep listening. <laughs> no, I disagree. They need a laugh. There's plenty no. of good people in Russia. We're doing an embargo. <laughs> We're imposing strict sanctions <laughs> to on all of Putin. our Russian listeners. La 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 la. <laughs> Everyone else, keep listening. <laughs> la la la. Also, I don't appreciate what you did to that figure skating lady. Yeah, yeah. I don't really know what you're talking about. <laughs> I always love how it's like uh, people will be like, "Hey, the Ukraine is at is at war." Here's a photo of Mila Kunis. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that yet. Yeah, I haven't seen that type of thing. Where they'll be like, here's some Ukrainian actresses who are attractive. Now do you care about the war? <laughs> Mila Kunis speaks Russian. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people, I think there's like quite a few. Uh, I think, I don't know why, but I think a lot of people from Russia and then Ukraine are like a- actors and actresses. Well, you got to get out. You gotta get out. But I think, because doesn't Russia have, like, the Stanislav school? People, like... Yeah, there's, like, some acting school yeah, there. Yeah, because people go to Russia a lot. Like, you'll read... It's good to be an artist in Russia. Is it? Never censored. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well taught. <laughs> no, you'll read about, like, Elizabeth Olsen. And yeah. it was like, oh, she went to school for two years in Russia, learning yeah. how to act. And it was like, that's weird. Yeah, she's a Scientologist, too, so you never Is know she? what's going on oh, with no. her. She's a little bit of a wild card. That's fun, though. You're just at the Golden Globes, and you're like, where'd you go to college? Ru- Everyone's like, Russia. 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 You're like, well, Russia. I, didn't, I didn't live in Russia for two years, so I can't relate uh, <laughs> to all these actors and actresses. Yeah, I don't know that bar. <laughs> <laughs> they're all, they're all like, you know Petrov? <laughs> that guy's nuts. Oh, my God. <laughs> he, pour, he pours you a stiff drink, Yeah. Huh? And then Ryan Gosling and Mila Kunis and Elizabeth Olsen all laugh. They all shake hands. How are you going to go on tour with your voice gone, man? Oh, I'll have it back by then. Are you and sure? if not, I'll do my Marcel Marceau act. I'll juggle. I'll, yeah, that'd be cool. I'll do my Marty Polio set. <laughs> that would be fun to just go to a comedy thing. And they'd be like, my voice is gone. I'll, I'll figure it out. 
<laughs> you just bomb for 45 minutes. <laughs> Weird mime shit you've never tried. <laughs> Booker's like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck are you doing? He's going off stage. That didn't work. Well, listen. I guess I'll just struggle through it next time. Yeah, I'll just try. Listen, for the late show, I'll try. <laughs> I thought I could write all my jokes on cards and hold them up. <laughs> didn't work. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. What a wonderful world. No, comedy's fun. Someone the other day, was we were, I was going to a town where I was putting on a show, and then there's a comic there who does comedy was not very good yeah and then they were like uh they were like hey can i do some time on the show and previously we let them do time on the show being like oh they'll help promote yeah. and then they just did, they didn't bring anybody out yeah where it's like well i live three hours away so i shouldn't be bringing 90 percent of the audience to like a town where you live <laughs> like that's kind of weird and then this time they were like and i was like yeah we could but like i really we really need you to like help promote and like because like we only do so much, like not living there. Yeah. And their response was, "Oh, I can't get anybody out." So I was like, "Okay, no. so you want to? <laughs> you're asking us if you can exclusively make the show worse." <laughs> <laughs> hey, is it okay if I don't bring anyone and, and bomb and, suck. <laughs> and contribute nothing? <laughs> no. Yeah, of course. Hop on. <laughs> You want some money, too? Yeah, I'll give you some money. <laughs> That's like my favorite thing ever is one time I was running a show and some kid messaged me and he was like, I want to do your show. And then I was like, oh, okay, do you have like a, a clip or like anything? And their response was, I don't have any videos because I'm not really proud of my stand-up. <laughs> <laughs> Comedians are a rare breed, man. Yeah. Just caught, just really bad at everything. I had to explain to them. I was like, "Don't you see that that's good? like we like I'm not going to put the person yeah. on the show. Who's... <laughs> I'm not confident enough for one person to see my comedy, but I would like forty people. I would to like see to it. do it in front of a crowd. Yeah, you've got to see it in person. Oh man, it's. <laughs> I don't think that kid's. This is gonna be a shocker. I don't think that kid is still doing stand. Wow. I wonder what brought him. I wonder what brought him down. No, he was still. He was still trying to do it after that. He's one of those people I love, where they always post like, just like, I want to do more comedy. Somebody, it's something? Question mark. Anybody? It's something. Anything. <laughs> please. Twelve hours ago, two likes. Please, please, somebody, please. I'm going to go blow my nose. I'll be right back. Dan's going to go blow his nose, he says. Ew, whose nose? Yeah, whose nose? Dan's over there sucking noses. Who's, who's, who's... Have you seen any good movies? <laughs> uh, no. I watched uh, Fuckfest 12. What was that one? No. <laughs> I didn't watch Fuckfest. I didn't watch Fuckfest 12. <laughs> I watched Fuckfest one. I started okay. in the beginning. You ever see the ones where they're just like, it's a, it's just a college party, and then two people are having sex in the oh, corner. Oh yeah, I've kind of seen those. That would be. It's like, I, uh, who, who, who goes to those parties? <laughs> like, how do you? <laughs> uh... That would be a wild. Like, oh yeah, in college we were always hanging out at this house where people would be fucking and just filming just it in the corner. The corner. Well, they just had free drinks and yeah, you know. had weed, good music. It was good. <laughs> uh, Some girls doing poi in the background. <laughs> you ever seen like those ones where it's like a strip, like a male strip club, and the girls start like blowing the guys? Oh know? yeah, that's I mean, illegal. I think that's <laughs> that's not allowed. That might be the perfect pornography because if you just watch, if you're a lady, you can just watch the beginning where it's just naked men dancing. That's true. And if you're a dude, stick around. <laughs> stick around, pal. <laughs> There's something for you there too. Something for everybody at the dancing bear. <laughs> that's what it's called. Is that really? Yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> That'd be fun. That'd be fun to be in one of those videos. You get like booked for that shoot as like yeah. a male porn star. And then you're like, I'm supposed to dance? <laughs> I can't. I'm not, I'm not trying to just objectify I myself. Can't, listen, I can't man. dance. I'm not going to be able to fit into I that. I have shame. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to fit into I'm that. Ashamed. You know? I'm a person with shame. You know, I've got body image issues. Yeah. There was one I saw where it was like... Someone should do one of those, but it's a tribute to the SNL Chris Farley thing. Chippendales? So no, a it's big like fat a, guy? a sexy guy and a big fat guy. Yeah. 
And then the ladies are all like, they're like, you can fuck one of these fellas. And the ladies just flock. They all fuck the sexy guy. And the, I guess it's just a cuckold video. <laughs> it's a Chris Farley type guy. Jerking off alone. <laughs> no, he's just going, man. He's doing the Chris Farley, like, kick in the air thing. Come on. Come on. <laughs> we'll be living in a van. Down by the river. That's a funny sketch. Have you ever yeah. seen that one? That is funny. Have you ever watched SNL? I, a few times. <laughs> Remember when Fred Savage put the gun in the cereal or whatever? Uh, I remember when I was still doing comedy and people were like, I would meet people who really wanted to like be on SNL. Yeah. And delusionally Those sending, are the worst comedy people. Delusionally sending packets and things. Yeah. And um, anyone who like SNL is there like, that is the best thing. And it's not even in the sense of like, SNL sucks now or whatever the fuck. Yeah. It's just like, if you think SNL is great and you're like, that's what I want to do with my life. You're ins- you you suck. You're like you're stupid. You're so like not funny and yeah. like you're very stupid. There's so much comedy out there. Like, there's nothing wrong with wanting to be on SNL or doing it. Yeah. But if you're like, that's my dream. Yeah. That's, that's why I love. I want to be Chris Farley. That's one day. absurd. Anyone whose favorite comedian is Chris Farley sucks. Like, Whoa, <laughs> hot take. No, but like, good lord. Now you're just specifically going after one person. I think. No, well, you're right. There is. We have narrowed down in specific. <laughs> But not by choice. It's by <laughs> anyone who's got like a kid. And fucking... uh... <laughs> anyone named Beep Beep. <laughs> no, I just remember thinking like, man, if I, I got offered a job at SNL, I'd have to like do some homework. I know. <laughs> and I was going to be like, all right, so I need to remember who John Belushi is. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I need to watch the fucking samurai thing. I always only... love. I just know that from the words. <laughs> That I'm saying. I always love when it's people who, like, you get there, you're like, you show up for your first day, they have, like, the celebrity host. Yeah. They're like, Snoop Dogg's here this week. And you're like, Snoop Dogg's part of SNL? Whoa! And then the next week, you're like, where'd Snoop Dogg go? Snoop quit? Why is Ryan Reynolds here? Don't tell me Snoop quit. <laughs> you just don't get the concept. He was doing so well. Why are these musicians, why do we hire a bunch of, why do we hire a band why the Avid you... Brothers aren't going to help us write these sketches. Muse is not a funny band. They're not my muse, I'll tell you that much. It should be Tenacious D. <laughs> Can we get Weird Al in here? Somebody. <laughs> what about the Jerky Boys? Hey, they don't do music. That'd be great. Hey, prank call for the musical guest of SNL. The monologue is just a prank call. Yeah. It's just them on the phone, and the first person hangs up, and they're like, all right, well... Live. We'll, get, we'll get the next one. <laughs> just go live. For, and they're like, we already we do that during the sketch. That's during. You don't do that. That's now. in the cold. Well, we're sketch. pranksters. Pranking <laughs> you. <laughs> All right, we've never done this. Lauren comes out and he's like, I usually don't like to appear on camera, but I'm afraid you're fired. <laughs> we're canceling the show. <laughs> I saw a uh, in like a read like an interview with Zach Braff where he said that he thinks his wife, who I guess is in that movie or I guess he's making like a new movie he's like directing a movie too and she's in it and he says that he thinks and there's no way he's biased he thinks she's the greatest he thinks that his wife is the greatest actress working (laughs) oh (laughs) okay (laughs) let's give a google who Zach Braff's wife is someone I had never heard of some lady oh I know this girl vaguely from stuff She's not a very good actor. She's just whatever. <laughs> Are you saying Zach Braff might have? Yeah, I'm saying I think Zach Braff's a phony. <laughs> also, I think that's a young lady. Yeah, she's very young. People make fun of him for that. Yeah, but they Zach... make fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> People really roast him about that. <laughs> And people are really making fun of Harvey Weinstein yeah, these days. Are really, they're really giving Jeff Epstein a lot of guff. <laughs> this Dan Schneider, man, he can't go out without getting... Can't ro- catch a break. Can't catch a break. He's getting roasted. So he's 20 years older than her. That's not that bad, 26, though, right? 46. Uh, yeah, by like Hollywood standards, I would say. Probably mm. not actually. Not actual human being standards. <laughs> yeah. No, she's in Marvel shit randomly. She's like not... I'm very confused that anyone would be like, she's a great actress. She's the greatest actress in the world. She's I'm literally, sure if you're looking up, Zach, but that article probably will be up there somewhere. It was a pretty recent article. She's literally been in shit where I've watched and been like, why'd they cast this girl? Yeah. And like, I don't, 
I'm not a acting <laughs> purist. I'm not an acting uh, coach. Or yeah, she's critic. in a. Oh, I guess I've only seen her in. Um, uh, she's in the Marvel universe. Who does she play? Uh, uh, Captain Black S- Widow's Captain like, Sunshine sister. Black Widow's sister. Uh, does she have superpowers? Wait, is Black Widow? Black Widow is Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, so Black Widow's sister, who they're both like Russian, uh, trained assassin people. Man, I got a moisturize, man. There is a lot of dead skin coming off my leg. While damn, I it. <laughs> <laughs> Look like damn Christmas, Christmas morning. Over. Leave it a pile on your floor there. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, I do need to moisturize. Let's like, talk about moisturize. Let's like talk about Benedict skin Wong. care. Let's talk about skin, skin care man. for a minute. What's your routine? I splash some water on my face in the morning. Yeah. Then I shower about every two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I splash some water in my face and then I go do a business deal. <laughs> I'm covered in water. I do like a good. I do like a good water splash. You like a good water splash? I feel like an old man because I've really come to enjoy <laughs> yeah. a good splash of water on the face. I'm always just like ah, that's refreshing. You just like shower so little that you're just like, like, I'm moist. <laughs> I just love rain. <laughs> clean i wish i could have like soap and be nude you in the rain spill water on yourself it's, <laughs> it's awesome <laughs> i like lakes but there's so much other stuff in them it'd be nice if it was like a contained just water just for my body just water for just my body uh, i could just sit in water that would be great <laughs> No, I showered and washed my hair yesterday. Thank you very much. Wow, I keep putting off a showering. I'm getting a, I'm getting on a regime. A regime. In, the, <laughs> in the winter, I get a little lazy because I never... joined a militia that has <laughs> body kind of cleanliness is a high order. <laughs> Joining the old spice regime. Yeah. No, in the winter I get lazy because I don't sweat or ever really get like smelly. Yeah. And I never want to wash my hair because it takes so long to dry, and then I, you know, it's gonna be like an icicle. Yeah. I don't want an icicle. I don't want an icicle. <laughs> I don't want to be an icicle. Has yeah, that ever happened when they're like snowboarding, they're getting all sweaty? Yeah. And then they're like, oh no. I got it. Oh, I'm frozen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm frozen now. Oh no. Sean White's doing a big spin in the air. <laughs> oh no. Just stops in midair. <laughs> it shatters. His, his, his lover is, uh, I believe, from... No, she might be Bulgarian. Well, fuck her. I, was say, I think she's Ukrainian, but she, I think she's from somewhere else. Sean White's retired, baby. Is he? Yeah, this was his last uh, Olympics. This is my last uh, rolling down a hill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to... I'm going to stay on you flat flat land from now on. <laughs> yeah, this was his last Olympics. He, he got emotional. Sean White looks like a guy who uh, is like a tech CEO. Now. I now can kind of see big, that. Now yeah. there's big hair. No, I can kind of see that. It is funny that it's like... Him and Tony Hawk are both like these icons in their in their particular field, mm-hmm. and they both are just such ugly, gawking-looking white yeah, guys. Sean White's not that ugly. He's, and neither's Tony Hawk. He's pretty. Uh, look at this photo of them together. All right, yeah, that's not a, <laughs> that's not a good look for them. Tony Hawk looks fine in that though. He does look fine. Sean White is kind of goofy looking. Look at him here. This lady's about to cut his cut his fucking neck with a pair of scissors. He looks he looks all right in that. I think you're being a little harsh on Sean no. and Tony. I just wish I was a skater <laughs> slash snowboarder. Do you think they ever switch it up? He does. Oh, he does. Yeah, Sean White also skates. I think. I don't know why either of us know this. I didn't know that. I guess I did. <laughs> I, don't I, know did why. One, I did once. You reminded me. I bet Tony Hawk can probably ski. Oh, Tony Hawk can probably do a lot of things. Tony Hawk can do whatever he wants. <laughs> he can do a lot of stuff. Sean White's only thirty-five. That's always a bummer. And then you're like, God damn. He's retiring? <laughs> you know, but it's like... In my mind, Sean White's like 20 years older than me. Nope. And it's like, no, I was 10, he was 15. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a big... That was a big age gap back then. He was in Cool Borders 4 at the age of 14. Cool Borders 4. Yeah. Rumors are just a consequence of an active social life. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> People just take Oscar Wilde quotes and put them as like. <laughs> the rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. <laughs> Jeff Jeffrey Epstein. Epstein. <laughs>
<laughs> Who did say? Was that an Oscar Wilde quote? The one you said? I just made that up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the thing I said is a Mark Twain thing. <laughs> I made it up when you brought up gossip. <laughs> I'm happy you thought it was an Oscar Wilde quote. I'm I'm so clever. I tried I tried to type it to see if it was a quote, and I said rumors are a byproduct of an affic active. So I put S. Is that how you typed it out? Because I don't think you. <laughs> I put S O, and it finished soil sample. <laughs> rumors are a byproduct of an active soil sample. Let's see what that gives us. No, apparently that is a thing Oscar Wilde said. <laughs> that is a thing Oscar Wilde said. <laughs> what he meant by soil sample, you don't want to okay. know. You don't want to know. Sample gates. <laughs> that's, that's a joke. That's for me. Uh, <coughs> you ever had to give a sample? I just had to give a sample not that long ago. For what? I had my UTI. Oh, okay. That was pee, though. Uh, was it supposed to be pee? <laughs> <laughs> You ever, you ever have to give a pee sample, and then you, like, had sex or jacked off or something before, and then you're like, ah, there might be a little bit of cum in there. There's going to be a little jizz. They're going to know. <laughs> They're going to know. They're going to know. <laughs> this nurse is, is going to show up on the tox report. <laughs> the guy, when I, when he, uh, the doctor was like, so we're going to have to have you pee in a cup. And I was like, all right, well, and I brought in a big... Uh, You're like, I'm an adult. I prefer glass. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't need... What is it? A sippy cup? You don't have anything classier like a mason jar? <laughs> I get, I get stemmed glass. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I was like, well, I don't really have to go, man. And he was like... Uh, he was like, okay, well, you know... Uh, you know, go take a walk, run an errand, come back whenever you want, man. I'll be here. I was like, what? <laughs> They're just hanging. <laughs> he was like, he's like, yeah, man, go over to that Kroger if you need like grocery shop. He was like, just come back and pee whenever you need to. Hell I was yeah. like, this is a very cool, <laughs> urgent care. I can meet you at the bar if you want. <laughs> I can, we can hook up later. You want to? You know, I got my lunch break coming up soon. Why don't we bring that over to uh, Bear Nose Pizza? Grab a split of pie. <laughs> You can get a couple Bud Lights in you. That'll get you going, huh? <laughs> yeah, they should just do piss testing at the bar. They should give you a beer at the doctor. And here's your complimentary Mick Ultra. Hey. Because <laughs> it's so cold, your body your body heat burns calories all day. Oh, okay. So you need to like eat seal fat. Well, that was fascinating. Yeah, why don't and, they? Uh... <laughs> when Hollywood actresses are ever trying to like lose weight or like. Robert Branson's like, I'm trying to play Batman. Yeah. Why don't they just, like, send him to, like... Antarctica. Antarctica. <laughs> and they're like, your body just to merely stay at a temperature yeah. is going to eat 4,000 calories yeah. a day. You're going to have to eat a lot of blubber. You're going to be ready for Legally Blonde 3 in no time. You ever had blubber? I don't think so. Maybe. No, not to my knowledge. My dad... Not to my knowledge, Your Honor. My dad. Well, told you had me. that brisket. That's got a lot of fat on it. That brisket. That did was a lot sort of fat. blubber. Yeah, that was blubber. You have had blubber. Blubber. You love blubber. <laughs> you blubber. fucking blubber fiend. <laughs> he said you liked it too. You guys should have a thing he on your menu. You liked it too. You fucking <laughs> love blubber. You guys should have a thing on your menu where it's like just the fat, <laughs> and there's like a dipping sauce Trimmings. that comes with it. Trimmings. <laughs> trimmings. <laughs> and all the trimmings. And someone is like, "What is that? Like a little bit of everything?" And they're like. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. It's they, a little bit off of everything. <laughs> a little bit off of everything. They put down a bunch of fat in front That'd of you. That'd be cool. And here's some jus. <laughs> it's, just, it's just liquefied fat. <laughs> yeah, what do they do with all that fat? Get a big old uh, pot of gravy going. Uh, they don't do that. <laughs> no, they use it for stuff. I guess they cook fries in it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they use the beef tallow to make <laughs> oil for the wagons. <laughs> uh, no, they use it for stuff. That sounds about right. My dad told me an anecdote of uh, he was watching my sister's dog. My dad doesn't know like, shit about animals. Yeah. He's like, I put his food out, and then he just looked at me and didn't eat it right away. So I was like, what the heck? So I cooked a bunch of bacon and then just dumped the bacon grease on top of the food. He ate it right up. <laughs> I dropped the pan. My hands were all greasy. 
I tried to fill up his water bowl, but I dropped it, slipped right out of my hands. <laughs> like, in my dad's mind, is this dog going to be, like, gross? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> this dog's not going to eat its food. <laughs> uh, I still wa- I still follow uh, Kevin Smith on Facebook. Of course. So I get, like, some cool updates every now and then. And I guess he adopt- Tusks 5. Tusk 5, out now. What if a horse was a turtle and it was a guy? <laughs> Kevin Smith's movie trailer should just be the clip of him high on his podcast <laughs> pitching the movie. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> and then the end, it just says, this thing got made. <laughs> we Coming did it. soon. We did it. <laughs> $10 million went uh, into this. But uh, he was talking about how he had adopted this dog like uh, a couple months ago. And uh, they got lost in his hockey jersey. And they got lost. <laughs> they got his, too many layers. They got lost in, <laughs> in, the, in his stuck. jorts somewhere. <laughs> got lost in the fold in his jorts. It's somewhere in here. And it was like a really skinny dog. And the doctor was like, "Give him an egg in the morning to help him like put on weight." And he uh, he was like, "So every morning I would make him an omelet with three eggs and whatever I wanted to put in it." <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. And the dog gained like. The next time they went to the vet, the doctor was like, your dog is your very... Dog's two dogs. Your dog is incredibly overweight. What have you been feeding it? And he's like, oh, you know, omelets with bacon and tomatoes, mushrooms, potatoes. And the guy is like, I told you to give him an egg. Not <laughs> make him a fucking omelet every day. Kevin Smith is like, I'm skinny now. I'm going to make someone else. I'm going to make this dog fat. Fat dog, the movie. <laughs> Fat dog. Jason Muse is going to play a skinny dog. <laughs> uh, fat dog and silent cat. Fat dog and silent cat. <laughs> Jay and silent Bob. We should do... Uh, we should go see uh, Kevin Smith live sometime. That would be fun if we do a Kevin Smith live episode. We're just doing the podcast in the back. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. No, we just do it. We do it on the drive there and then the drive home. <laughs> so. That sucks. That was not super entertaining. I've it's heard that a lot of story on YouTube. <laughs> it's pretty old. I've seen it on a DVD I got from the library. Also, it was a seven hour show. He showed his new movie, which it looks like he made it in a, a week. <laughs> Looks like he made it the day before this event. And I don't know if he made it out in his iPhone, but he showed it from his iPhone. He did just plug a cord into his iPhone. <laughs> and it was in photos. <laughs> it was a, more of a PowerPoint. Yeah. More of a long PowerPoint with audio cues. <laughs> no, I just meant the file was in, like, photos. Like, it wasn't like he went to a thing. It was just saved as, like, a photo yeah. type. Yeah, like, one of the generic names. Yeah. Image yeah. underscore 0789456586. Eight nine. <laughs> Kevin Smith. I did a show once down the road. Kevin from Smith him. or Kevin Spacey. Ooh. Who do you want to spend the night with? Who did you think was gonna get canceled? <laughs> <laughs> no, Kevin Smith's a good guy. He's never getting canceled. He's a good man. He's got a lady who he. Uh, He's got a wife he loves. <clears throat> he, I don't think they're married anymore. No, they're still married. Oh, they are. Yeah. My God, Kevin, you <laughs> lucky man. <laughs> They've been married for. 20 something years. It's always funny where it's like you're watching, you're like, oh, you got just generic, like, hot ladies and some other lady. Oh, it's his wife. Oh, it's his wife. <laughs> okay. So that's not a thing that you should be allowed to like. <laughs> I feel like when he turned that into the studio, they should have been like, you know, we noticed that, right? That is <laughs> so noticeable. You can now, you are not allowed to do that type of thing. <laughs> It's like, what if I have my kids in it? It's got to be a shittier movie. It's got to be a way worse movie. We're not giving you the budget to just put your kids in fucking... Your kids and your wife and your best friend in a movie. This will not just be family <laughs> photos. <laughs> Listen, man, if you want to go get a photo album made, I'll pay it. I'll pay for it just to get you out of my office. But I'm not making a movie. <laughs> what is Kevin Smith currently up to? Uh, Clerks 3 is coming out soon. <coughs> is it actually? Yes. Oh, okay. They've shot it. It's been edited. <laughs> it's been edited? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, his daughter's name is Harley Quinn. Yeah. That's got to be uh, awkward. Yeah, because when they, when, because she's like 23, uh, like, I don't know, like early 20s. So, like, when she got named Harley Quinn, it wasn't no, what it was, it was just, now. No, exactly. <laughs> And now so he was like, it's a fun name for a kid. And now she's saddled with like 
N- fucking nerd. <laughs> like <laughs> not even nerd, more so just like <laughs> ew. <laughs> yeah, more so like uh Yeah, I don't think I want to hang out with you. No, I think she's married now. She's married to Johnny Depp. No, she's married to <laughs> Harley Quinn Smith. She that sounds like you're making up a name. Yeah, it does. Harley Quinn Smith. His daughter, I say on her daughter's Wikipedia page, just randomly says two people she's friends with. <laughs> <laughs> She put that on there herself. Smith is good friends with Lily Rose Depp, daughter of Johnny Depp, and then some other actress. Which is like, that's random. All right, let's figure out a way to wrap this up. You got a joke? Uh, No. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe I have one on this thing. No. Uh, what if we just, uh, Kevin Smith, more like... Oh, uh, I got it. I got it. Wait, okay. what's your thing? I was going to say, Kevin Smith, more like Kevin Spacey, Spacey out his pants with his <laughs> big Kevin gut. Sp- <laughs> Kevin taking up less Spacey. <laughs> Kevin taking up less Spacey now that he's not eating, not drinking two gallons of milk a day Good and Lord. gone vegan. <laughs> <laughs> him at like a vegan AA type meeting and he's like I used to drink two gallons of milk a day and even there everybody's like Jesus I'm like what the fuck <laughs> why <laughs> no, I was gonna say you think that in the late 90s in like New York City there's ever like a kind of like a old you know a classic guy and then he's like hey my son got me two tickets to see Marilyn we're gonna go see Marilyn I can't Madison wait. Madison Square Garden. It's like, I guess it's like a tribute show to Meryl. And they show up and it's just some guy doing goth rock. <laughs> hey, what, where's the... Is that her corpse? Where's Marilyn? Did they exhume Marilyn? <laughs> where's Marilyn? <laughs> I'm trying to see Marilyn. I heard Twiggy was going to be here too. Who? <laughs> it says Marilyn Manson. I thought she was dating Joe DiMaggio. I, 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 you know, it's fine. She can date whoever she wants. She's dead. She's dating some guy named Manson. <laughs> All right, that's enough. <laughs>